Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kristen here, here on Christy Speaks. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a nice self-care for black girls on my channel. It's something very new that I want to bring to you guys and I love voiceovers so we're going to be voiceovering this whole bang bang. But I just want to show you guys some self-care that I indulge in as a plus size dark skinned black girl and I wanted to share some tips with you. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video so starting off I'm gonna change into some nice pajamas what I've been learning is having a cute matching set really just gets me in the mood it makes me feel a lot better about myself just having something that is not too thorough on it makes you feel a little bit more put together even when you're just lounging around the house and I'm gonna just sip on some coffee and get energized because one thing about self-care it takes energy you have to be physically and mentally prepared to indulge in your self-care so I I'm just getting myself hyped up. Next, I'm just going to clean my space because for me, I cannot operate in a messy space. Before I do any type of self-care, whether that be from physical self-care, mental, or just preparing for my week, I clean my space. And a clear space is really a clear mind. It is one of those things that I take with me day by day. So especially clearing my bed because I'm the type to sleep with snacks, books, and laptops all over my bed. But I'm learning I sleep a a lot better when my bed is freshly made and it's freshly cleared. Having a refreshing scent is so good for just calming your mood and relaxing. I love to spray my bed down with either like a bed spray, something lavender, put the ear diffuser on. I just notice when I cultivate that clean space and it smells good that I operate and function better so that works for me. So then I just like to set my lights up and really tune out the mood, get my aura right. And here's where the physical self-care starts. So one thing about black girl self-care is here for me. I know so many black women, at least I'll speak for myself, I cannot function or I get severe severely sad when my hair is not done because a hair is really a big part of my culture how I identify with myself and I'm someone who does correlate my hair to beauty like I don't believe it makes me but it definitely adds to how I perceive beauty and how others perceive my beauty as well so that's something I always try to make sure is done and becoming the self-sufficient self baddie I am I'm going to attempt to do my own hair this is fairly new to me because I grew up always getting my hair pretty much done and taken care of but as you get older you have to invest that self time and money into keeping it up yourself my beautiful black sister in the back helping me do my hair I think it's so important for me to show her as a dark-skinned black girl as well how to care for yourself physically and mentally so I love that she's sitting there and she always joins me as well this is something I wish I indulged in more as a kid I was showed self-care but when you don't really care for yourself growing up it's hard to actively put in that time to make sure you look presentable and feel like you're worthy of self-care feel like you're worthy to be beautiful and to take care of yourself so it's something I'm learning and I've acquired over the years and it's really put me on a journey to understand what self-care and self looks like for everyone and it looks different but I feel like as a dark-skinned black girl it's we have a routine that we're trying to cultivate and we're not always shown we're not always put in the media and showing as beautiful and we're not showing that we can live the lifestyle of you know that on the go self-sufficient baddie that's just not often taught or showcased by darker skinned black girls I thought I would talk a little in this video because I know I'm doing a lot of voiceover if you made it th this far into it I appreciate you um but i just want to talk a little bit about black girl self-care and not like regular black girl self-care but 
how many black dark skin plus size girls do you see like on the internet publicly getting to display acts of self-care and self-love i feel like not often we actually do and i want to change that narrative because black plus size for that dark skin black girls i feel like i put so many adjectives in there but we we represent we there's a lot of us out here and we deserve media that's not always like comedy or satire or like this funny fat black girl role like we deserve to be taught and to be represented in a way that shows self-care and love so it's a skill i'm learning and it's a skill i never felt like i was really worthy of tapping into which is so true feeling good looking pretty i felt like that was reserved for other people because i've never been represented in that light like you're desirable you're supposed to care about how you look and not in a way that comes out of insecurity that you look a certain way so you're not made front of but it comes out of a way that it shows you how to genuinely love yourself your physical appearance your physical appearance how to nurture and take care of yourself i want to show that i want to showcase that hey we're out here we're we're doing it you know like we are here as well and i know that the lifestyle and self-care um that is pretty much saturated especially in the white community they're like taking over what it represents to be have like a good lifestyle and um do the self-care content but and other black women but it's not luxury black lifestyle which i love and i think it should stay for all the debate and it's not just wealthy like you know there's where's the the natural girls who are trying to improve their selves and to love on their selves more work on their appearance stack money in their account chase their dreams that's me i'm that girl and that's what i want to showcase that's who i'm representing so i just want to open up the media for black girls and like give us regular roles i love that like plus size fashion is coming up and we're seeing a lot of dark skinned black girls eat it up in the industry which i love and i feel like we're more than fashion as well i want us in every role possible i want us to have romantic roles on tv that doesn't come with all the trauma you see black women have to go through uh that would be refreshing you know i my favorite genre is romance and my two favorite movies happen to be endless love in the last song and footloose and they're all white based romanticized movies and it's like hey i love this you know but why do it only seem like white women will get this role of you know being desirable desirable and then when you look at black films it's usually a light-skinned woman with the body not like mine so um tyler perry i'll be giving you a call real soon because we got some work to do baby y'all and this is old so please do not get me i'm not a hairdresser i know i just sold um sold this back on wrong but like I said, I'm not a freaking hairdresser. Like, don't do me. I'm just a young girl out here trying to be a self-sufficient baddie. But yeah, self-care is so important. And I was taught hygiene as a kid, but I necessarily wasn't taught too much self-care, which looks in different ways. So I was taught to like, what to do with my body, you know, wash up, just hygiene things, I feel like. Um, and I was always dressed nice, so that was a good thing but when it was up to me to do it and my mom pretty much gave me you know free control to start wearing things that i like i realized that i wasn't as interested in taking care of myself especially if you ever been depressed you know that doing basic human tasks like bathing brushing your teeth um becomes like a chore almost and yeah we don't like that 
So I'm in this new era. I just want to learn, relearn and appreciate those basic skills of bathing, lotioning up, doing your hair, getting your hair done. Um, what else is like self-care, reading, meditating, eating well, focusing on my body. And the older you get, you realize, hey, I no longer want to eat hot Cheetos and stuff like that. I want to make sure my body's sitting how it is. Uh, you want to make sure that, you know, you're you're healthy. So when you want to have kids and a family that comes, all of that is self-care. Your mental health, setting boundaries is self-care. Self-care and self-love look so different, but they correlate. Once you're showing yourself more self-love, you introduce more practices of self-care. And the more you show yourself self-care, you're practicing acts of self-love. I was watching um, Josh, I believe. Um, he's a creator, a bougie content creator I watch. Um, and I've been watching him for a while. I love your content if you ever come across this video. And I just want to bring up the conversation he had also about how um like a lot of a lot of black creators we get more views based on like hair and makeup videos and beauty. Um not mainstream beauty, but like hair wigs and stuff like that. Um, because that's what a lot of most black girls are interested in. But the, he was saying like, why can't we run lifestyle and self care and gaming? Why can't we have anything other than AAVE and wigs and lashes? You know what I mean? Why can't we be the mainstream focus on those things? And yes, one, the industry is pretty much you know, it's a white based in industry. They have the advertisements, the commercials and stuff that probably is bringing in more revenue. However, it's hard for black content creators like myself who want to get into lifestyle and self care, pretty much those niches because they're already dominated by white people and black people are just not looking for that content well some and that's why i'm making these videos so i can find people who are interested in this kind of content who are interested in lifestyle self-care you know healing and building yourself up girl boss content um so it was just interesting to think like hey i'm going to lay this down i feel like i did okay I'm going to lay it down again, and I'm going to just re-fix it. And, yeah, I'm going to show y'all. And we're going to do some skincare, too, because part of self-love is, you know, skincare. <laughs> part of your self-care routine should be skincare and stuff like that. So we're going to do that in some body care. We're going to do a lot. Okay, now for the skincare portion of this video, I'm going to go in with this Moringa soap with chia seeds. It's my first time actually trying it out. If you guys don't know, I really like holistic versions of skincare, of health, of medicine. I think the more natural you can get is better. And I struggle with eczema, chronic eczema. So if I'm not actively indulging in my skincare and making sure my body is flushing itself out and getting enough nutrients, you will see it but I'm taking this soap and I'm about to go ahead and give you guys a little wash I did end up liking it a lot it was really good it was only five dollars too I believe that I got it for we'll be going back it did take a little bit most of the oil off my face so it stripped the oils which if you have eczema you know you don't really want to put yourself in a position where you have dry skin but it didn't strip it enough where my face was like cracked or anything I feel like it was just enough so yeah also went in with the Aveeno oat milk I believe like oat washer it was very good for the skin and cleaning it um, 10 out of 10 would recommend if, especially if you have sensitive skin or whatnot okay so once my skin is done I want to show you guys some of the teeth care that I also use I feel like 
because I have, um, I struggle with a binge eating disorder, so that did cause me a lot of teeth problems, although you guys always say you like my smile a lot. So um, I try to keep up with it as much as I can and take care of it. And I learned about oil pulling on TikTok. So it's something that I do and I really love the results. Um, so initially it's supposed to just pull all the toxins from your skin before we get into skin, I mean, pull all the toxins out of your um, mouth and stuff. Um, and before we get into the moisturizing part, I'm going to put this coconut oil in my mouth. It's raw um, virgin coconut oil press. And you leave it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes and just swish it around. Um, so I'm going to do that as I moisturize and I start getting ready. Let me know if you guys tried this. So this is how it's done. Don't swallow it. And then we're gonna brush our teeth and stuff after. I'll show you guys what I use, so. Okay, so as I let the coconut um, oil just sit in my mouth, I'm going to go with my moisturizer. I'm going to show you guys what I use as well. Like I said, I suffer from eczema, really dry skin, so I go in with heavy moisturizer. This is what works for me, but it's so important that you develop your own skincare routine when getting into your self-care and self-love journey. Like I said, when you look good, you feel good, you do better. When you look good, you feel better, and you do good. Good. So I'm going in first with this um, natural butter that I made. It's based with like shea butter and stuff. If you guys want to try some of my products, I'm actually sending them out for free because I've just been experimenting with them, seeing um, how good they work. So if you ever see my video and you made it this far and you want to try some free skincare, let me know because I think I'm going to whip up another batch because I'm running out. But this mix has really changed my skin so much. If you guys look at my older videos from like a year ago, my skin was so cracked. It was so dry. I was so sad as well. And I didn't have a natural product to really rejuvenate my skin until I did my own research. And I went in the kitchen and I started scraping some stuff up. And now look at me. And then I'm going to go on with this native serum. I've been really getting into like serums and acids. At first I was like... Hmm, I don't know if I should try these especially because anytime I have a flare-up it will cause my skin to burn and that is not a good feeling it's not a polite feeling at all but I do notice when my skin is clear serums really just give me a hydrated look and whatnot so you can see me just going in with these different serums I do go in with the color defense as well just to pretty much even out my skin skin tone if you guys have any hyper hyper pigmentation or like discoloration on your skin especially as a dark skin girl sometimes it causes insecurity so anything I can do to just even out my skin tone and give me a more flawless look I definitely take the opportunity to do so and then lastly, you guys can also see me using the Aveeno Calm and Restore um, Serum. I like this a lot too because it just balances off the face soap that I use. So this is also good for Calm and Restore and it also hydrates my skin as well. After hydrating, my teeth is usually ready so I go in and I spit the coconut oil out and I just clean my teeth like I usually would. I usually clean them once or twice just to make sure I got all the oil um, off my teeth because it is oil that you're putting on there, like in your mouth. So I just want to make sure that's good and then I do a rinse. I think it's so important to develop this self-care routine for stability. It keeps you just dedicated and on top of yourself and it shows you self love like it's showing up for yourself every day day in and day out and it's these little habits these little behaviors that we engage in really shape our reality and here's me all dressed up at the end I just wanted to show you how beautiful dark skinned black girls can look how beautiful plus size dark skinned black girls can look how important it is for us to show up for ourselves teach our young black girls that they are worth loving themselves I love that my sister joined me for this clip and I just want to you know inspire and challenge you all to develop this self-care routine engaging yourself and and really just show up for yourself day in and day out. I love you guys. This is the end of my video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, I'm out.